Professor Munji Bawendi was one of the initial developers of the quantum dot, and for his incredible discovery, he was awarded the 2023 Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Professor Bawendi, such a pleasure to have you on the programme. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. So I was in the, the auditorium yesterday for your uh, address. Give us a little bit of a flavour of some of the key points you were trying to make. What I was trying to make is that um, the discoveries sometimes come out of frustrations, come out of a necessity, which is what our 90, 1993 paper really was about. And then the, you don't know where it's going to go. So all these applications came out. Um, you know, we weren't planning on it, but uh, came out of nowhere, it seems. Tell us a little bit about what your major breakthrough was. The major breakthrough was to find a fairly straightforward and simple route to making very high quality nanoparticles, these quantum dots, with nearly atomic precision using a synthetic method that could be easily scaled up. And what, uh, what is a quantum dot? Quantum dot is a nanometer sized uh, particle semiconductor where when you put an electron in there, an extra electron, it obeys the rules of quantum mechanics. It's wave-like, and as a result, the properties are highly size-dependent. Now, you won your Nobel Prize for uh, chemistry, but you're at a physics conference, so, so why are you here? I'm a physical chemist, which means I straddle physics and chemistry. I make things to study their physical properties. I've come to the APS meeting many, many times, and I go to American Chemical Society meetings as well. So next year, as we all know by now, is the year of quantum. So, uh, so are you looking forward to it? And, and what do you hope will come out of it? I'm very much looking forward to it. And I hope that uh, we, the broader public will gain an appreciation of how quantum is ubiquitous around us in our lives and so many applications already, and that uh, there will be many more to come that will change our lives for the better. It's my final question. A lot of young scientists here in the, in, in the uh, audience, and, and one of the great things about this meeting is they have the chance to meet uh, people like, like you. So what would your message be to those young scientists? My message would be that you know, great discoveries are often fraught with failure at the beginning, but you have to keep the faith and follow your interests and your curiosity and uh, keep going. Thank you ever so much indeed for joining. It's been a real pleasure. Thank you. My pleasure.